Welcome to Roush's Noise and Vibration Lab. I'm Paul Reilly. I'm the director of our Noise and Vibration Testing and Product Group. In our activity, we do a lot of work with our customers to help them solve their noise and vibration problems. With our testing, we do things like modal analysis. We do a lot of acoustic intensity studies. We study the characteristics of materials. So what does all this mean? What we do is when a customer brings a noisy vehicle to us, we try to identify what the sources of the noise are and what the characteristics are, how the noise gets from, say, a noisy engine into the occupant, into the driver of the vehicle. We're studying vibration on this vehicle, and behind me is Herman. He has instrumented the vehicle with accelerometers at key locations on the suspension, so we can measure the vibration as we operate over different road surfaces. We also do dynamic DTV measurements, and that's a measurement of how much motion we have between the brake pad, the brake caliper, and the brake rotor. And we do that dynamically as we're driving down the, the road uh, usually under different cornering maneuvers. Now we're in one of Roush's nine hemi-anechoic test chambers. We have a hemisphere of microphones arranged over the top of the component. In this case, we have 19 microphones. Hi, my name's Nick, and I'm going to be taking you through another uh, measurement and another product that we make here in the NVH Products Lab. So this is a device that's used to uh, reduce vibration inside of a steering wheel. It's basically tuned uh, to vibrate at a particular frequency that the steering wheel vibrates at and cancel out the vibration that you feel. We've got our accelerometer mounted and we'll create an impact in the front cover and we can look and see uh, the difference between the baseline configuration which is currently highlighted and the treated configuration which you can see the peak has a, a much lower response uh, than the baseline does. As we solve our noise and vibration problems for our customers, we're using a lot of different types of techniques. A lot of what we do is provide materials, like this chamber you're in, it absorbs all the noise that comes off of the vehicle or anything else that operates in here. Some newer products that are very, very efficient are things like this material, which is a thin slate type material, a very lightweight acoustic absorber. I've got a couple of uh, examples here of materials that we use. These are rubber compounds. One of them is, um, is very responsive. It bounces very high when I drop it on the ground. There's another one that's um, a material that has very high damping. This material does not bounce very much at all. Another product that Roush has gotten involved with is reducing vibration in golf club shafts. This is a standard golf club shaft, and this is one with Roush's SenseCore product. It not only sounds better, but it also feels better in your hands. We've got a lot of experience here at Roush doing design and development of engines. And to complement that and to make sure we've got proper designs, we actually do simulations to look at stresses, maybe in like an engine block. Ultimately, that allows us to predict vibration, which then we can apply to a vehicle structure, which then allows us to simulate how much noise we'll have in the vehicle interior. Now I want to show you one of our very unique pieces of test equipment. So this is one of our microphone transducers. It actually looks like a, a person's torso. He's got a microphone in each ear. So when we put this in a vehicle and drive around, we use this transducer to actually measure the noise while we're driving the vehicle. And once we do that, we can record that and bring it back to our lab. We can process it, analyze it, and use that information to determine what the quality of the sound is while we're actually operating the vehicle. <laughs>